Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you where to find sound effects that you can incorporate in your animation or whatever project you're working on. Step 1. Before we start talking about sound effects, you need to understand the rules that you need to abide by. Now, there are three main sound effects that you need to be concerned about. The first one is Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial. What this simply means is that you're not allowed to use this sound effect for commercial use such as monetized YouTube videos. So that's a downside of Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial. So I'd prefer that you don't use it so you don't have to deal with the you know, copyright problems that occurs if you use such a sound effect. With that said, now let's go to the sound effects that you can use. You can use uh, public domain sounds. Public domain sounds are basically sounds that are added to the public domain, which means they're 100% free and you can use them for whatever you want, whether it's for an animation or for a tutorial, whatever it is, you can use it. Creative Commons attribution is uh, kind of different. It means that you can still use the audio, but you have to attribute or credit the work to this person. So you create a video where you usually have the end credits, you need to say that this sound comes from this person. Step 2. Locate your sound effects. You will need to find your sound effects that you use in your project. I'm going to talk about two kinds of sites. Sound effect sites and royalty free music sites. The sound effects sites that I've found are freesound.org, soundbible.com, soundj.com, and freesfx.co.uk. These four sound effect sites have a plethora of great sound effects that you can use in your projects. Before I continue, I just wanted to tell you that uh, for most of these sites, you need to create an account, so it's more preferable that you create an account before downloading sounds from these sound sites, sound effect sites. So just make sure you do that beforehand, okay? Now let's go to freesound.org. Once you reach the site, now you have to find the sound effect that you want. For this example, I'm gonna I want to find an explosion sound effect. So I'll type explosion in the search box and click enter. As you can see, after I typed in the word explosion, the search engine brought up various explosion sound effects. I already downloaded a sound effect from this site. I'm going to allow you to listen to it at another time. I just wanted to make sure that you remember about attribution, attribution on commercial and public. Uh, like for example, the sound effects on this side you are not allowed to use uh, for if you're going to uh, monetize it, like you know, put it on YouTube and then you know, click the monetize button. But you can use attribution like so like right there right, right here you can use all these all you have to do is just remember to credit the person and there's just one more it's public let's see they have one right here but there it is public means you can use it 100 percent free with that said I'm gonna allow you to hear one of the explosions I explosion sound effects that I downloaded. I actually downloaded it from this guy so that's what you're going to listen to. Alright? Okay. Alright, here's the sound effect I was telling you about. Alright, here we go.
Now since you've heard the uh, explosion sound effect, I'm going now to peruse through the three other sound effect sites that I listed here, soundbible.com, soundj.com, and freesfx.co.uk. All right, now we're going to go to soundbible.com. Uh, I've already done that. I'm here. Um, I wanted to discuss about the structure of this site. It's kind of similar to freesound.org. You have your video, your sound clips, public, the public domain attribution, and also non-commercial attribution. And just like in Freesound, it has a, its own search engine. So let's just say you wanted to search the sound effect of a gun. Type that in, click enter. And as you can see, there are various kinds. There's attribution, attribution non commercial, which means you can't use that sound if you're going to monetize your video. And. Um, and also, as I've showed you before, public domain. The next site we're going to is soundj.com. It's right here, soundj. Copy, and then paste it on your browser, and then click go. Okay, here we are. Sound J is structured differently. They don't exactly have a search bar, but they've separated each sound in its category. You have backgrounds, communication sounds, transportation sounds. I want to just allow you guys to go in there and just find sounds that you like, because there's a lot of sounds in there. But I'm not going to go through every single sound file, because <laughs> that would take too much time. And um, the last one is... Uh, freesfx.co.uk as you can see this site has uh, sound categories, sound effect categories that you can check out and has a search bar I'm going to just uh, click here and uh, as you can see the various sounds for like for pigs uh, water, I mean, fish, sorry, water, fish swimming in water, and uh, owls. Usually, I prefer looking at the license term, and the good thing about this site is all you have to do is just credit uh, them, just say you got it from this site. It says you can even use your sound effect, music, they even have music tracks here for anything, like for YouTube videos, which is perfect for this and uh, other things like films, television programs, games, and much more. Now since we've finished talking about sound effect sites, we're going to progress to royalty free music sites. The advantage of using these sites is it, is it enables you to use music tracks that will enhance your project. The first one I want to talk about, talk about is um, freestockmusic.com here we go and here we are the advantage of using this site is it has a lot of uh, cinematic a lot of music tracks cinematic music tracks classical corporate you can use them in your production for commercial reasons or non-commercial reasons so you're good either way. All you have to do is a log in. I actually um, downloaded a cinematic track which I'll allow you to listen to. It's called Heroic Struggle. Let's see if I can find it here. I've already downloaded this and I'll allow you to listen to it so you can enjoy the track. And I'm crediting Freestock for this um, soundtrack.
now since you've heard the uh, the soundtrack the last site I wanted to talk about is Incompetech.com Incompetech.com is like freestockmusic.com um, it has royalty free music that is that is available for you to use the composer is known as Kevin McCalloyd and um, all he asks you to do if you're gonna use his music is credit him and uh, let's see here we go let's see to credit him this way uh, if, I don't know if you guys remember from English class you know the strict way of crediting like with MLA well this is his version of how he wants to be credited so just follow this and you'll be good and you can go to royalty free music and uh, just listen to which music you like uh, he has a lot of them let's just say epic search by feel and all you have to do is scroll down and listen to whichever you like and if you like it just download it alright it's now time it's now time for step three incorporate the sound effect into your project Step 4. Upload your movie to YouTube and Newgrounds. The reason why I said you should upload your movie to YouTube and Newgrounds is if you upload to um, if you upload to Newgrounds, it enables you to connect with a large artistic community base. So like if you're a game creator or you like creating movies, you should post your stuff there so that way you can get to uh, you know display what you've done to you know other people who are interested in what you're doing and it it opens up channels you know gates to to be able to communicate commune with other artists and get them to be in your production you know it just helps your artistic career go in a positive direction and obviously the advantage of uploading your movie to YouTube is you can monetize your video I'd like to credit the music score that I used, Heroic Struggle, to freestockmusic.com. And I would also like to credit the explosion sound effect that I used to freesound.org. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you, and have a nice day.